How do you give your signs from there? Well, that starts from, a, from a, the most comfortable position, and that's basically sitting right here, and you're on your toes. And, and basically, you need to protect the signs from the first base coach or the third base coach, because they're going to try to steal your signs. You see a lot of the, the guys walk up in the box, in the third base box towards third base, they might be looking for your signs. You ever yell down there and be like, hey, hey? Well, usually the third baseman takes care of that for you, or the first baseman will say, you know, stay in the box, or, or he'll, he'll whistle to me, you know, watch your signs. They'll look to see if they can see them. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your glove right here so the third baseman, third base coach can't see your signs. And you're going to give the signs. You're going to use this leg. You're going to keep it up so he can't see from over here, and you're going to give your signs. Signs today are pretty universal. You know, one's fastball, two's curve, three slider, wiggles, change up, fork ball. Some guys like to get tricky. You know, where they'll use two and four as fastballs, and one and three as breaking balls. And that's when you got to be on your toes to catch it, because sometimes you might be thinking about the day before when one was a fastball, and now all of a sudden one's a breaking ball, and you get drilled. So what about with a runner on second base? Your signs, giving them change. I know the sequence does, obviously, but how about? Yes, How the, you're sequence, presenting it. the sequence can change. Um, the type of signs can change. You're going to give more signs. You're not just going to give one sign to where they can pick it up. Usually you're going to give four or five signs. And a pitcher sometimes will use wipes to add and subtract. So let's say you give a two and he wants to throw a one. Well, if he goes down on his leg, he subtracts one with one wipe. Or if you give a two and he wants a change up, which is a four, he'll go three, four. He's adding up top, up top subtracting on the bottom. You got to pay attention to all that. Yes. On top of a combinational sign. Yes. So sometimes, take me through, like for example, first sign after two. First sign after two. How would you do that? Well, let's say you want. Let's say you want to throw an inside fastball, and, and I like to use two different uh, signs for fastball. One is inside. Pinky is outside. So, so I'm the right-handed hitter, so it'd be inside here. Okay. Let's say I might go first sign after two. So what I might do is I might go three, one. Two, one, one. And that's first sign after two. And what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to set up in my stance as late as possible. When the pitcher gets to about right here, it's kind of when you want to start moving. Because if you move as a catcher, for you older catchers, if you move too soon, they can relay it from first, third, or the infield. They can just tell you location. Or the hitter. Sometimes yeah, I can he feel can that. See you. I can see him. And a lot of times you'll see eye. catchers give signs like this because hitters, especially in today's age with the Oakley glasses, like to peek. So they're going to watch your eyes. So they put the glasses on and they're back there peeking? They're peeking. So you're going to watch your eyes and make sure they're not peeking. Really? So that's why a lot of times you see catchers give signs and they're looking at your face. Well, the one thing I notice too with the catcher a lot of times, I'll come in the box and outside of tapping me, they're looking to see where I'm standing. What's that telling you? Well, you're trying to see what type of pitch he thinks he's going to get. The hitter might tell you what he's looking for if he moves in the box. Okay, for so example, for if example, you're a hitter. Let's say I move right here, I'm going to test your knowledge. What all right, if I you're moving for? closer, you're thinking about a ball in the outside corner, something on the outer half. So that might be where you come in. And you see it, guys will move early in the box as hitters, and you can pick a lot of things up. If you move off the box, mm -hmm. I know you're thinking in, so I can throw something away, I can throw a breaking ball away. You're thinking fastball in, so I got you right where I want you. So it's important to pay attention to the hitter because he can tell you what he's looking for. As a catcher, you've got to pay more attention to detail than any other positional player on the field. Give me a story, like, like for example, could you tell if I backed up like five, six inches? Oh yeah, because the guy digs. Jose Canseco used to start close and inch his way back. So what you might do is you might just wait see what he starts doing because he's not peeking at you he's going on a rhythm he thinks okay one two well, he's sitting here going yeah like this, and as soon as he starts moving up. that's when i give my sign then i'll go fastball away or breaking ball so a lot of guys give it away and and some guys do it different than others